they're not robots human nature you're not going to, we have got the desire after the treble last year that's still there but you know there's going to be games sometimes more than just one game where we don't destroy teams that's just the way it is but it's a win This might seem like a daft question. Who is your current City favourite player? And who is currently the best City player? Is it one and the same? Well, I'm going to ask a few people today and they might say, well, that's a daft question. I can live with that. Anyway, <laughs> uh, with big thanks to Ken Wayne Miller, who are bolsteringoffenselawyers.com and the people to go to if you've had a... Uh, an incident or some problem with motoring and you need some support from a solicitor go to them tell them i sent you and they'll help you and thanks very much for their support so let's see in the rain against brentford who of course beat us here in the premier league last season but oh city beat just recently down at their stadium let's see who's here and what they've got to say and what sort of answers i get to my question I can say one thing for certain, it's a lot drier in here than it was outside. Who's your favourite City player and why? Current City player? Uh, current City, Phil Foden, because he's one of our own. And this might sound like a daft question, but who do you think is City's best current player? Best? Uh, Kevin De Bruyne. So, it, so at my, at my query was, whether it be the same player that everybody would say, but you've gone for two different players. Yes. Well, I think Foden deserves to be mentioned up there because he's got all the ability in the world. I just wish he'd, uh, Guardiola would play him central all the time instead of out on the wing because I think he's wasted there. Who's your favourite current City player? De Bruyne. Best ever player for me. So it's the same for both your favourite and... I think the best this season has been Foden. Uh, obviously with De Bruyne being out, but De Bruyne overall, yeah. What about you? I'm afraid I have to give De Bruyne for both. I think he's the best player in the world in his position and he makes that team tick when he's playing. He's the, he's the difference. On a night like tonight, a wet night like tonight, is it still worth coming then to watch these players? Uh, I've watched this team since 1967 and I've never let anything stand in the way, especially the weather. <laughs> so you've been here on bad nights, have you? Oh, and many of them, well. many of them. Yeah. Many of them. I mean, I know I've trudged through the snow. Have you done yeah, that? Yeah, I've well? done it. I, I can remember once when they were building uh, the Kipax at the main road, and they had me two sons, and uh, the, where they were up to, you had to stand in the pouring rain, and the only place you could get was right against the back, and the policeman moved, moved us. And I must admit, after 25 minutes, I took them home because they were drowning. You still got that? Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the Grace Kelly yeah. stand. Do you remember the Grace yeah. Kelly stand? Oh, we call it the Gene Kelly. Boy, Gene, well, well it's Gene yeah. Kelly. Singing in the rain. Yeah, yeah that's right. Gene yeah. Kelly, yeah. And, and I was there for the City yeah. Slickers when they beat Tottenham 5-1 in the snow. The, the, the uh, so I, no, I don't, oh, let, I don't let bad nights or bad weather. What's the worst you've encountered then? Some of them in the Gene Kelly. Um, Fulham here one year when it was snow everywhere, that was horrible. That was like the first year we won the league, I think it was. We won 3 0, I think, and after about 20 minutes, everyone's like, Yeah, should we just go home? <laughs> but you're here tonight yeah. in the pouring rain. Oh, yeah, rain. definitely. Absolutely. Is City going to win tonight? I'm going yeah. here on Saturday in the pouring rain as well. <laughs> Is City going to win tonight? Yeah, definitely. Definitely. I yeah. think definitely tonight, yeah. They'll be strong tonight. Another fold and action could be nice, wouldn't it? Yeah, yeah. Who's your favourite current City player? Kevin De Bruyne. And who is the best current City player? Kevin De Bruyne. <laughs> it's the same then? Yeah. Because I wondered if that was a daft question. No, not at all. No, no, no. I mean, Kevin De Bruyne, though, is longevity. Still doing it now. 32 years of age, 33 years of age now. Still doing it. Love him to death. Unbelievable player. Texan what, what are you, what are your it's the exact same. Can't say it better from my father, to be honest. It's See, some same. people have a different favourite player. Yeah. No, I understand player. that. I have an exciting player. I'm excited by Doku. I think he's really good at the minute, but De Bruyne is always going to be my favourite. Definitely. What do you think? Oh, I'm the same as Mark, I think. I think it's just De Bruyne, but Bernardo. Yeah, Bernardo Excellent. See, I'm a big fan of Bernardo. Yeah. A lot of people love some great him goals because he's, he's a you know, local lad. Yeah, yeah. He used to play, he used to, he used to play with Foden. Before. He used to play with Foden, yeah. Years ago. Go on, tell us about your experience. <laughs> <with playing laughs> Go on, Dad. <laughs> 
Nah, back in the day, back in the day. He was play, played for a similar team to me, a lot better, a lot better. Have you been surprised by how far he's gone then? No, yet? not at all, not at all. So you could say no, even when no, you were No, not at all, not at all. Yeah, it's going to go, go, go up, to be honest, he won't slow down, he'll go up as well, so he's a good player. Lucky to have him out with Yeah, blessed, very blessed. Add one more thing to that, Phil was three years younger than Tom when Tom was here and... Shows his quality. And he was still running rings. Shows right? the quality, yeah, he shows <laughs> the quality. And he was still running rings, <laughs> he was. All going for a win tonight. Yeah. Definitely going to win tonight. Yeah? Definitely, yeah, yeah. Definitely. Yep. Who is your favourite current City player and is it different to who you think is City's current best player? Yeah, I mean, if you look at who's City's best player at the minute, it's, for me it's Borden. He stepped up when Kevin's been injured. He's really made a difference in a few games. He sort of drove the team. Let us down a little bit against Chelsea, but I think that has been so far. But Kevin De Bruyne for me, he's, he's just epitomising City. He drives forward, he's got brilliant vision, and he just makes a difference when he's out there. Some people say Rodri. I just think since Kevin's come back, we've all stepped up another gear, and I think he, I think personally, keeps fit, we'll, we'll, we'll win the, at least two this season. And yet, I bet there's more Harlem shirts being worn yeah. inside this stadium, yeah. so certainly from the younger generation, yeah. he'd be the one, wouldn't he? He would be, yeah, because he's the superstar that everybody has clinged on to. I mean, if you look at his record last season, there was no better striker last year. But, it can go missing and I think with City if Alan went missing for five games we'd still win when Rodri or De Bruyne goes missing we could come up against it so yeah the, the younger ones that you see are all Haaland you know uh, if we go back years and years Haaland probably won't even fit in with me <laughs> Who's your current City favourite player? Uh, and is it the same player that you would say is City's current best player? It's Kevin De Bruyne, so the answer is yes. Yeah, I mean, uh, talking about this the other day, Colin Bell was always the greatest I'd seen, but I think Kevin is can do things that even Colin Bell couldn't. I mean, Colin Bell could also do things that Kev couldn't. He could score with his head, for one thing. But, uh, you know, Colin Bell was a true box-to-box player. Kevin De, but Kevin De Bruyne's genius, his slide rule passes... Yeah, the, the things he sees that I, I don't think Colin Bell would have seen, who, who was a good passer of the ball, accurate passer of the ball, but I don't think Colin Bell could have seen the same situations that Kevin De Bruyne does. My other question, because you've been on my channel a couple of times yep, now, uh -huh. talking about City's finances, it seems to be edging nearer and nearer to a decision. Do you remain fully confident that City are going to be exonerated? I, I remain fully confident that City are going to be exonerated. I mean, there's always, there's always a grey area around the non-cooperation stuff and all the legal, you know, we don't do it capriciously because we do, don't want to cooperate. It's on legal advice, but, you know, the Independent Commission may take a, a view on that. There's lots of rumours going around that they're not thrilled, they're not particularly impressed with the charges. I don't know how true those are, but yeah, no, the, the, for me, everything's the same. I've no fears, no particular fears about what's going to come out of that. Uh, yeah, it's been uh, a bit frustrating. Um, you know, City have had the lion's share of possession as you would expect them to in this sort of game. Um, and we've not been able to break, you know, um, Brentford down. Goalkeepers made a few good saves. Ben Mee's had an exceptional clearance off the line from Oscar Bob. Um, but Brentford, of course, there's problems as well as the teams seem to do on the break, and they've had their chances. Um, Edison's have made a couple of decent saves. So yeah, um, it can just sense a bit of frustration within the stadium. Um, so yeah, second half they need to come out. In my opinion, try and get a few more crosses in the box. They seem to be passing it around the edge of the box line. It's difficult because. You know, Brentford are putting six, seven, eight behind the ball. Um, but yeah, they need to, you know, try and move the ball a little bit quicker if can. And I think maybe take a few more shots as well, because I think sometimes they've, they've been quite keen to turn a shot down. Um, in fact, the best shots have probably been from Akanji, Diaz and, um, and Stones, I think. So yeah, so, you know, Brentford have done well so far, but can they do it for another 45?
Uh, that was a bit of a struggle, wasn't it? Um, I think, you know, we're not just going to destroy teams every week like we have been doing over the last few years. But I don't think Brentford played that well. I just think that we just didn't play that great. But a win's a win. That's all that matters. At the end of the year, we'll be forgetting about times like this when we lift the cup again. And it'll give Harlan a boost that, does he? Yeah, of course it will. You know, and I mean, that's what I mean. We've said to Tina before, my wife. When we're playing so well and we're doing so well week in and week out, it's the same team. You know, it's human. They're not robots. It's human nature. You're not. Gonna, we have got the desire after the treble last year. That's still there. But you know, there's going to be games sometimes more than just one game where we don't destroy teams. That's just the way it is. But it's a win. Well, they made hard work of it. They're a hard team to beat, though, aren't they? So I thought it was a good result at the end of the day. Getting three points is all that matters exactly, when you're in this race exactly, like this. Yeah. Um, bring on Bournemouth now at weekend. <laughs> three points, to be honest, uh, Ian. I thought, um, you know, resting De Bruyne, resting, you know, to be honest, <coughs> the only one that you, the only one that you would rest would be De Bruyne, and the crowd, the crowd were crying out for De Bruyne, but they didn't realise that. The Brown wasn't needed there today, so three points, and now we motor on again for the next game on Saturday. Do you feel confident going forward? I mean, watch that performance. Was that off? I always feel confident with that football team, and the the thing with a lot of people don't realise is that we've got seven years of con continuity with with, with with the management scheme as well as as well as players around. So, um, abs absolutely, there's going to be hiccups along the way. Um, and the better the players they are, the more the hiccups will will, will be kind of you know like Haaland nine 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 chances on Saturday, three three golden chances. But but he's got he's got us three points there today. So um, yeah yeah. You confident then? Always confident with with that football team. Always confident. Good game, mate. Good to get the three points. Uh, yeah, yeah. You come all the way from Australia to watch it. Yeah, uh, mate, yeah, I moved in here, so. Uh, well, that's me. What's the city support down like, like down in Australia? Oh, uh, it's good. It's about even with most of the other teams, really. These days, a bit longer, but. Enjoy that game, then. Yeah, it was good, mate. It was good. Oh. It felt frustrating the first half, didn't it? You know, it felt like we needed a bit of a jolt, a bit more of a, a lift in tempo. But, you know, I think I took a moment there to look at Pep on the sidelines and all of a sudden he was telling everybody to calm down. So I was like, hang on, maybe maybe trust what's happening right now. Um, but, uh, yeah, we certainly played with a bit more passion, a bit more a bit more sprite, a bit more energy um, in the second half. And um, it was funny, actually, to... Um, you know, to sort of score a goal against a, against a break of play like that. You know, we aren't known as a counter-attacking team. Brilliant. But, um, you know, at the end of the day, I think at these, this, you know, this stage of the season, points of progress, and uh, we just need to win whatever whatever means necessary. And, well, obviously the weekend was disappointing in that. We just need to look forward and onwards and upwards to uh, what's coming up, you know, with some big fixtures coming up in March. When you look ahead to what is coming up, obviously United and Liverpool in one, in one week, yeah. the midweek before Luton in the FA Cup, even Bournemouth at the weekend, Starting to look quite, I won't say daunting, that's perhaps unfair, but challenging, isn't it? Challenge, yes, and I think um, we shouldn't downplay the uh, away fixture at Bournemouth. I think that's going to be, um, that's going to have a little bit more to it than just uh, a team that uh, has seemed to uh, overperform this season based on, uh, compared to what I think people were expecting to do at the start of this season. Um, given also, too, obviously Liverpool will be playing the cup final as well, too, so three points while they're playing and, you know, playing in another competition can be a little bit of a psychological edge. Um, but uh, that still remains to be seen. Um, but I, I feel a lot of confidence about what's coming up, you know, with some very important fixtures. Um, you know, it, it's been a long time since we've played, um, we played away at Anfield at a crucial part of the season. We always seem to play them in the, in the say, the first half of the year. Um, so I think that could be a little bit of a factor as well. Hopefully we have a bit more wind in the sails when we do go to Anfield. Um, I think the way we're playing at the moment, don't know if we're good enough to get three points there, but I mean, at the end of the day, we've 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 given ourselves a chance to progress and you know get better and find our form and things like that. And um, yeah, look, I'm I'm quietly confident about we can get the job done uh, when the um, when the uh, when the most important fixtures come. So yeah, we'll just wait and see what happens. And uh, yeah, onwards and upwards, guys.
I think it's fair to say that wasn't as pretty as it sometimes can be from City, but they did the job. Uh, I'm looking forward now to two trips back to back, and thanks to RRG Group and Toyota in Rochdale in particular, uh, obviously RRG Group, one of my sponsors, uh, I'll be driving down to both of those games, so look out for me down at Bournemouth, uh, down at Luton in the FA Cup, come and say hello, and get on the vlog if you can. And also big thanks to Timson as well for their support uh, and of course for you for watching and all the people who contribute to the Match Day vlog. Uh, I've been speaking to David Bernstein this week. Uh, look out for that coming up on the YouTube channel fairly soon, the former city chairman. Um, and well, have a great week and uh, isn't it great to be a blue?